Alright, so in this video, we're going to be going over the test for divergence. Now, the test for divergence is, is something that we use when we don't have a series that fits, you know, it's not something nice like a P-series or a geometric series, and we want to prove whether it's convergent or divergent, okay? And this is one of the seven tests that we're going to learn, okay? And those seven tests are in this acronym, DICLAR, which I will uh, be referring to frequently, okay? It, the test for divergence is going to be the D in DICLAR, okay? And then we're going to learn the, net, the rest in the coming videos, okay? So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so the test for divergence states that if the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n does not equal zero, or if it doesn't exist, then the series, the sum from n equals one to infinity of a sub n is divergent. Now, to help you understand why this works, I'm going to illustrate it. Okay, let's say we have an a sub n versus n graph, okay? And we have something that looks like this. Well, we know here that the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n will definitely equal zero, right? It's approaching zero as n goes to infinity, okay? so. This has a chance of being convergent. What if it was something like a sub n equals 1 over n squared? Okay, that we know that that's convergent. However, if we had something like this, where the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n does not equal 0, well, then we obviously know that this is going to be divergent, okay? That's why the test for divergence works. And you could say, well, you know, what if it's, what if there's an asymptote right here, okay? Well, that doesn't matter because then, yeah, maybe the sequence converges, but the series, remember, we're adding up all these terms. And say that this was something like, I don't know, let's say four, okay? Well, that means we're adding a bunch of terms that are very close to four onto infinity, which means our series is going to be divergent, right? So, you know, it's it, anything other than zero, then it's definitely going to be divergent, okay? Now, this does not automatically say that it is convergent if the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n does equal zero, okay? Because what if, erase the square here, what if you have a sub n equal to one over n? Well, the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n is still equal to zero, okay? But we know that this is a P series, and in this case, P is equal to one, so that means that this actually diverges. So you can only use this to prove divergence. You can't prove convergence with the test for divergence, and that, that kind of makes sense because of the name. So we have an example up on the board here that I wanted to go over quick. Now, we have the series, the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 8n squared over 3n squared minus 4. Okay, we want to see if this is convergent or divergent. Now, this isn't a p-series, this, is, this isn't a geometric series, okay? So, we got to start using our tests, and we're going to start with D, which is the test for divergence. Of course, you don't know any of the other tests yet, but that doesn't matter, because we're going to use tests for divergence. Now, we can take that limit as n approaches infinity of 8n squared over 3n squared minus 4, okay? And from here, you can you can use L'Hopital if you'd like, or you can just divide every term by n squared, okay? I will divide every term by n squared, which will give us 8 over 3 minus 4 over n squared, okay? From there, you can see that as n approaches infinity, this fraction will become zero. So we're just left with eight over three. Okay, now eight over three does not equal zero. Okay, so that means that this is divergent. And we can say that this is divergent by the test for divergence. Okay, now I know we, it seemed like we went over a lot, but really all this is, is just taking a limit as n approaches infinity of your a sub n, okay? If it's not equal to zero, okay, great, it's divergent. If it's equal to zero, well then you gotta go to your next test, okay? 
And well, for us, that would be checking for the next test that we'll go over, which is going to be the integral test. All right, so that's gonna do it for this video. So if this video helped you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe by clicking my icon in the top left. You can also view the playlist for sequences and series and the next video in the series. Lastly, if these videos are really helping you and you would like to consider supporting me, I have my Patreon linked in the description down below, along with some other pretty cool links that you should definitely check out. See you soon.